We're live. We're back. This is The Rising Adults, episode three. The coronavirus edition. <laughs> the social distancing edition. We're doing our part. Um, we actually next to each other, but I mean, this is all a little far away. <laughs> actually, we want we want to set a good example because that's what this channel is all about, you know. Lead by example. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, just a little slight delay on the call, but yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, we all losing our minds, kind of a little bit, slightly. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> So we thought we'd just, you know, check in with y'all. Um, some of us still have to work. Yeah. Essential workers all work from home, most of us. So just going to uh, talk a little bit about that. Julian's actually an expert in the work from home arena. <laughs> He's been doing it for a while now. And I used to I used to envy him a lot. You know, I used to be like, you say, you're not really, like, you, you get to cool out at home all day and get paid for that. And then... Like, now trying to do it ourselves, like we are, now I'm like, yeah, oh, it wasn't so easy, and he's like, he likes to remind me every single time. Like, <laughs> oh, okay, I, now you see, now you see. So, uh, um, Julian's just gonna be our uh, expert today, and he's gonna tell us a little bit more about like how he has managed to be productive uh, while working from home, and what tips he has for us, and how we could like try to, you know, do a little bit better with that. So, yeah. So you know how like all of them, you know, like, let's say in a, a ad for, you know, like a, a workout video, or like, you know, any of them things like insanity, mm. all of them things, you know, um, all the people always ripped, like they never show you nobody that, you know, you know, overweight or nothing that doing the program, then people always in great shape, Gasser, implying that they, you know, expert something about the thing. So, you know, you say, all right, well, if made looking like that, I would do the program and I would look like that too, right? But, yeah, man. I ain't no expert, but <laughs> I couldn't talk about my experience. <laughs> and you can just clear my You can take whatever you want from that. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. So um I think um yeah, I I know you know working from home is you know it, it seems nice, but you know it can be it can be good and bad at the same time. I think yes, you're at home, but you still have to get stuff you still have to get you know uh still have to achieve what you need to um put in the hours you need to for work um with distractions at least you know yes there's distractions at the workplace too but at least you know you're around people who you know they want to get work done for the day it's in a setting where you know all right i'm in work mode then i go home then i'm in home mode but when you're working from home it's just kind of like a continuous like uh, right. maybe I can get this stuff done, you know, I, I'll wake up whenever. Now you're saving all the time because now I have, you have a commute. Your commute is basically, you know, walking from the bed. To <laughs> I have a five. You know. <laughs> yeah, if, exactly. If you, have a, if you have a commute, some people can just pull their laptop on the bed, you know, and, and, and work from there. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, um, some, some things I do to... Some of, people, <laughs> some people can do that. All right, okay. Let's go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. So I think what's important too is like to still keep a schedule, especially now where you know I even know what day of the week it is. Like it could be Sunday, like, it could be Saturday. Okay. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. So, so <laughs> I think just for like sanity and another thing is you know when you're not you know you don't have like as many calls scheduled and stuff, especially in them Corona times, so or you don't have like specific meetings or dates that you're looking forward to. Um, to just keep your sanity and not feel like you're in some what they call them things like the the sensory sensory um sensory chambers where like you can oh, like, yeah sensory yeah. deprivation yeah so just so you don't feel like that um which is apparently well that's not a bad thing but just I'm just saying like to get your bearings you know it's good to have a schedule so try to keep as close as possible to the work schedule that you have so like let's say you get to the office at nine or eight like that is when you want to start working right so that now for you to do that you still have to wake up at a particular time now the good thing about working at home is like yes you can like strive to do them things but you also don't have to right so if there's a day where well you know i have to wake up a little later today you know like 
you have that option, right? So that's definitely taken away from somebody's stress. So I think important schedule is important. Another thing is make a list of what you want to achieve for the day because you're not going to wake up and just go, all right, I get a lot of stuff done. I mean, some people can do that, but unless you don't have, I think it's easier to just kind of walk around. All right, here are four things I want to achieve. Hey, that's it. My internet connection is unstable. <laughs> <laughs> we, still, we, still good all right. we still good for that. Um, so okay. all right. I think instead of saying, all right, at nine o'clock, I'm going to do that at, 10 o'clock, I'm going to do that. At 1 o'clock, I'm going to do that. Just say, I have four things to do today. They're going to get done, however they get done. So if you do all four in the morning and you, have, you can free up your afternoon and maybe work on something else, it's perfect. If you want to spread them out, you do one. Then maybe you go and eat some breakfast. Um, you do two. Um, then you take a little break. You do three. Um, I don't know. You walk around a little bit just to kind of clear your head. And then you do the last one, like by the end of the day, or you do two in the morning, two in the afternoon, whatever. Because the reality is, guys, are like stuff is gonna come up, especially when you're home. Because people say, "Hey, what? Why? Hey, let me let me give you some things to do." You know, like as if it's all of a sudden you become available. Like, hey, I'm not home now. Hey, I'm not home. Yeah. Like they're forgetting you're working. I say, I say who's there, but they're forgetting you're working. <laughs> but um. But yeah, working. Working, yeah, working. <laughs> but I mean, and I mean, chores and stuff come up too, right? Like, let's say you want to you want to make breakfast. Like now, you obviously know when, unless you order in lunch in, like takeaway lunch and stuff like that, um, you have to stop for lunch, and then again, like you want to stop to make dinner, or you want a little snack. You know, you're feeling a little hungry. All of a sudden, you're feeling hungry at all kind of times. Of <laughs> <laughs> because you know, the, because you know the food there, guys. So, you know, it's not about like about three o'clock saying, "But I want something sweet." You know, I want something sweet. Like, <laughs> No, you go no, in I, literally, I literally put some things like I took them and I put them on the highest cupboard, like above the cupboard, above the cabinets. Now, just to make it like not that thing where it's like on, like I had it right next to where I was working. I used to have like all the snacks right, right there. Yeah. And I'd be working and I just, I like to be like, by the time I, when I get ready to throw it a wrap, that's when I like really quick in my mind, like, why are we using that? Like, you just, you're not even you're like four deep already. Yeah. <laughs> Like, what's wrong with me? So I just put them a little bit out of reach because then it balances, like, my laziness. Just kind of balance. <laughs> I just, I'm like, yeah. I really want that, eh? Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, I can reach it, too, but... Nah. nah. Uh, yeah, and I mean, another another good thing is, like... Um, and that's a good point, is, like, you know, exercise and meditation or just, you know, like, even breathing exercises, anything like that. Like that's important to incorporate too. Whether you do it at the start of your day, at the end of your day, um, just something to break up from the like, I'm you know I'm working, I'm doing I'm doing stuff, I'm being productive. Um, you know you want to be productive, you know mentally and check for your sanity and stuff. Like that. Mm -hmm. um, that's important. And then I think lastly is um, no, I mean yeah, don't don't be ashamed to to take a little break to go to the fridge and. Um, it's gonna come up like you can pretend you can pretend all you want and play like yeah boy I focus I lock in myself away and yeah you will get some stuff done but the urges will just eventually build up but if you kind of like manage them and you say all right I go for a little glass of water I go for a little glass of juice and yeah. your 15th time for the day you know then all right yeah, your body can <laughs> <laughs> that will, that's what we draw on the line guys 15 times <laughs> but yeah no, I mean, I mean I schedule calls too. So like even with, you know, people, people at work, um, people at work too, like make sure you schedule calls and stuff like at least one to two or three a day to just, and break them up. So don't, don't do all your calls in the morning, you know, kind of break them up so you can like mm -hmm. out and make your whole day productive. So like maybe you have put a 10 a.m. call, maybe a 2 p.m. call, you know, so, um, you know, you have kind of like, um, I don't know, checkpoints. So like you have kind of checkpoints throughout the day for like, all right, um, even if you you kind of having a less productive day, you can you know sort of snap back into it. Um, yeah. And then and it's also just good to just you know keep in touch with your coworkers and stuff too. That's important because um, especially those that work in the office, you know, you used to just walking across to someone's desk and asking them for something. Now you have to call them and explain what you want, and you know it's 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 a totally different totally different system. So. Um, so that's a good thing to do but oh and also 
dress professionally <laughs> wake up in the morning. That's yeah. important. Especially, I mean, even just to feel like, honestly, like, just to feel like, all right, I'm, you know, I'm getting away from the sleep and I'm, you know, into a different mode. So you don't have to put on like a shit and tie, but, you know, like have your clothes that are like, all right, these are my work clothes. So you kind of like train your mind to get into the habit of, all right, my, my work clothes are on, you know, my productive. And then when you take off your clothes at the end of the day, um, you can say, all right, now it's time to relax, kind of. So you have to create that. You have to create that division, that separation. Right, but only on your top half, right? You know, the bottom. Yeah, nah, the bottom, the bottom, <laughs> where matter. And just shoes, more, just more 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 shoes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> just so they can see you. Just up to where the Zoom call. Yeah, man. And just don't whatever you do, don't stand up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sounds about right. But yeah, no, like those are some easy tips to just kind of you know you know keep focused, keep centered, and 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 help you help you work from home. But um, and try also try and like keep your keep your workstation same like the clothes. Like keep your workstation separate from what you're eating and things. So like if you want to go and eat and take a snack, go and eat and take a snack somewhere else. Like don't eat by your workstation because it could just be like one big jumble of you know how you organize and things like that. But just Keep everything separate so you know when you sit down there, you get some work done and then you can go back about your business. So I think that's a that's like the the four important points for you know working from home. So don't forget, you know, keep a schedule, um, whether it's waking up and also when you start in work. Um pick the amount of things you want to do for the day and be flexible about how you're going to achieve them. Um separation, so you know, make sure you have like your work clothes to get into your work mode. And then, you know, don't be, in addition to not being ashamed of, you know, having to go for a snack or, you know, doing something else to keep your mind occupied, like, you know, the little desk you want to clean or something you want to wipe down, like take five, 10 minutes to do that. But whatever you do, do it away from your workspace. So, you know, wh whatever your workspace may be, whether it's the couch, you have a nice office set up or, you know, even if it's like the edge of your bed, because like, that's what you have, that's what you're working with. Um, or the coffee table or whatever. Um, keep that separate from like where you're eating and where you're snacking. Where you're eating. That's what helped me. I know if it'll help you, but it's it's helped me. Always, always. <laughs> the disclaimers after. Well, I mean that's what I do, and I'm not saying you go and do that. But <laughs> it's been working for me. Um, but yeah, but wait, how long? How long? I know you're trying to play it down like you are. Eh, tell them not to this day, but. <laughs> For, for my sake, I want to know how long have you actually been like, because I know you've been working from home long before COVID-19. So how long have you like been developing these like little, little skills over? Uh, well, I think, so we say working from home, but sort of my, almost like my entire professional career, I've had to work remotely. Um, mm -hmm. So not necessarily mm -hmm. at home. So I have to be flexible. So I'm like, I'm, I have to do my, my emails or, phone calls are like right before i'm always like hunched over in a seat of a plane saying all right i have five minutes before we take off what do you want <laughs> um or like laptop on the plane or like calls through bluetooth audio on the car because i do have my cell phone while i'm driving um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah or um, like pull over right. from a coffee shop or McDonald's by the road, like you have to pull out your laptop. So like I've almost always been for like the last, like, I don't know, six or seven years, like working on some kind of on the run. Like, mm. so you have to be flexible and because you can say, all right, let me just not do anything during the day and then get back. But you get back and you have like hundreds of emails to take care of and like stuff that you won't able to do. And, there's no way you do that because you you know traveling and stuff you know, weighs down on you. So if you want the work to get done, you have to kind of fit it in where you can. So I've always had to try to fit in stuff where I can. Um, and then I uh, I think the last three years I've been you know working from like working from home and not having like uh, an office set up. So uh, from then even even after having a few years of working remotely. 
um, I still had to make some adjustments to, you know, what, what working from home meant. Because, I mean, even working from remotely and dressed up, eh, I had to get up to go to the airport. I'm, like, you know, on the run already. I'm in work mode. I had a work call schedule. Um, but now it's like, oh, wake up. Where do I work? Where's my workspace? How much do I need to get done? I have calls. Yeah. Yeah. So that kind of thing. So, and also, you know, different, different time zones make it tricky because you know you might be it might be like seven foot you know you're on the couch you know watching a little tv and some, somebody want to call you from work you already changed out your work clothes already and then somebody in like some time zone three four hours behind that's you know just finishing up for the day want to call you and it's like uh, <laughs> uh, yeah so i mean you have to you have to be i think the most important thing is you have to be flexible and honest about like one what you're going to achieve and like what you like willing to willing to do yeah, that makes sense. I think a good way like of summarizing what this like kind of shows you is like you're not you're neither like a perfect servant or a perfect master like to yourself. Like you don't know how exactly to get yourself to do what you like if you are your own boss in a sense, it's like you're not a good boss and you're not a good employee either. Yeah. Not really. And it's like so it's trying to like find that balance between not asking too much for of yourself but asking enough and being able to be like yeah i'm gonna actually do what i'm supposed to do it's like a discipline it's like a lot more discipline i think required than kind of real life going in it's just so easy to just be like i mean who cares i mean you know i don't watch me like that um, <laughs> No, it's tricky because, like, you're right. Like, there's no, like, there's nobody watching. There's nobody telling you. At Ten o'clock, you still sleeping? You know, like, you kind of have to. <laughs> you kind of have to like manage all that for yourself, right? and. Yeah, yeah. That's why I'm like. That's why it's like you set the deliverables that you know. All right, if I need to get that stuff to this person by the end of the day, so you set that, and and then that kind of helps you. Like, all right, I just need to get that done for the day. There's no real yeah. pressure, you know. Just that that helps too. How you how you find working from home? I know you still have to go in a little like from time to time or every day. Yeah, I think that that's also, that's the main thing making it a lot easier for me is um I have certain times I have to book in advance. The, the way our, our our job is doing it is they're trying to limit the number of people who are on site at the same time, even though we all have to still work. So kind of like have a rotating shift system but you so you only go on site when you're going to be running experiments and analyzing your data some things that you have to be on site for everything else you do remotely but i found that because you have to book your tool time in advance you have to book your prep time everything you have to kind of it forces me to plan the next day at least a few days in, a, in advance and i have to stick to it because if i miss my time slot that's not just oh i missed an hour of like experiments everything else slides out of place so it's kind of like oh shit i actually have to be on. like it's like that little like push that external discipline that's still in place for me so it's like keeps me in check because i have to go <laughs> i have to go into the office yeah. at a certain time and i have to base everything else around making it in for that time and getting everything done within that time so that that forced me to be at a certain level of preparation um and I guess like the first couple of weeks, I've, I've only now I've finally gone into, you know, having some sort of success with that. The first couple of weeks, everything was, it was kind of like everything, every single day, something else was changing because the whole situation was just evolving so quickly where um, one day it was like, okay, you can go into the office, when, just make sure you bring your laptops with you at home every day. Then the next, next time it was like, oh, no one is allowed at the office at all and then that was, it was like that for a while and then we finally like we would get access to certain labs and not others so it was kind of like every day something was changing or the rules were changing it was getting a little bit more strict and um kind of like adapting so it was kind of like this whirlwind of i don't know how i don't know if, know if like they're even expecting how much can you expect us to get done within a period like this so it's kind of like getting through that little like mushy beginning parts and kind of figuring out, okay, I have a system now I'm back into kind of being productive. Yeah. Um, but I think, I don't know about you, but like we spoke about talk, um, keeping, keeping a balance and keeping organized with your time for work stuff. But I think, 
I think what people, uh, some people, some of some of the people I, at least I talk to, they have no problem actually working from home and maintaining the discipline. They're like, they're, they never skip to a beat with that because they're just, maybe some people are just more organized naturally and more also motivated when it comes to work and stuff. <laughs> um, Not the expert, but, I do that. <laughs> but um, there's so many people who are actually struggling with not losing their minds because they're not doing anything but working, you know? So it's like, how do you, how do you manage um, being at home and all the things that you used to be able to do, like leisure wise being kind of removed? What, what are you, what are you doing with that? So like I said, once, once I pick my like four things I need to do, I say four, I keep saying four things, but sometimes I do 10 things for the day. It is been doing as far as you would. <laughs> <laughs> but four is a nice number but um like i try to be do others like i said just do other stuff to you know keep keep saying you know whether it's to watch um like a a short video (laughs) 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 what is to watch like a short video or something online or like scroll for instagram for a few minutes or like they have chores that need to be done um or like working out or exercising like stuff like that um i try to use that to break up the work day so around the the things that i've chosen to to achieve for work for the day like i make sure i inject other stuff because or even like a walk like going for a walk or something just or just going outside doing something outside maybe there's something you need like but hey in saint lucia like you're going to trip trip some trees or something you know you know something around the place guys um you know try and use that to break up the day because i think that's that's what's most important like aside from just doing i know like yes like i said some people are good at just being able to do like one solid block of work um that's not productive for me. Like I, I, I can do that, but I would do like, let's say I'm productive for six hours with like a 15 minute break. And then like, I can't do anything for the rest of the night. And I can't even enjoy the stuff that I want to do after that. So um, I think it's yeah, important to just keep breaking it up with stuff that, you know, doesn't like resemble work at all. So I think the more, the more flexible you have that, the, the better it is. Or even like, if you, if you can, like, I don't know what the restrictions are. Restrictions are different everywhere, but um, they got drive somewhere or, you know, just to see something different, that kind of thing. So, or like, if you're lunch somewhere, like you can go eat lunch somewhere, like go eat lunch at a park or at the beach or, you know, wherever um, with your friend, you know, so you, know, you can do stuff six feet apart, but you can do stuff, you know, to, to break up, break up the monotony of the day. <laughs> but i I mean oh and you can do like another good thing you can do too is like learn something new like if there's a a, you know learn it not necessarily look think of things that will either help you like professionally or um like personally or even just stuff that you want to do for fun so like a hobby that you want to do or a new skill you want to learn or something you want to practice um that's or you know someone you want to call like maybe someone you're calling a long time you know don't not your ex don't yo yeah <laughs> it's not a sign we're not trying to tell you this is not a sign that's true that's true ex you call call the ex. <laughs> i'm not your ex but you know no this but no <laughs> try that <laughs> nice try, nice try but no um, <laughs> But yeah, so I mean, there's there's you know a, a a bunch of other things you can do um, to just take your mind off of work because it's healthy to do that. Eh? So because um, otherwise you're right, like you just be work 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 and ah, I can't go anywhere, I can't go outside, I can't do anything social, I can't look forward to anything. Like ah, like I can lose my mind. Yeah. <laughs> like the little sticker. Ah. <laughs> I don't know. I got to try and. And it is in right there over your face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no problem. But uh, um, I don't know. For me, I find like I had a lot of hobbies. I wasn't. I just wasn't having enough time to do anyway. So it just so happened like right before the whole COVID situation. I just started going back into like I remember we talking about that. Just painting a little bit more. 
play the piano, them kind of things. Things that things I used to do a lot more when I was younger, actually, and I enjoyed doing. But kind of you know things get busy and you just get out of touch with those things. And um, I feel like before COVID started, I was I was already starting to get back into those things. So it was just like, yeah, I have all this free time. Let me start. Let me do a couple more paintings. I mean, let me learn a new song. Those kind of things. So I feel like. I was almost sad. I, was, I think I was messing with the last painting I was doing for like two weeks after it was like really done. Just because I didn't want the project to be finished. I was just thinking with little things here and there. Just, I, think, I think I lost my mind for a little while after the project was done. I was like, okay, now what? <laughs> like, yeah. 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 Now I actually have to, actually have to work now. <laughs> like, <laughs> I this time. So, I think yeah, I think having having something to a little give yourself a carrot, not just a stick, you know, like give yourself a little carrot. Like yeah. I think it's good to break up. Reward yourself for listening to yourself. Like, yeah, like okay, I said I would have to get all of these um emails answered by noon and I did that. So let me just go and have a little scoop of ice cream there. Or it might not have to I mean it doesn't have to be that kind of reward, but just do something you like. I give it five minutes of so. Uh, meditation. I don't know. I don't know what you like. You're, you're weird. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you have all the best yeah, man, like, Just go and do it. Let's just do it. Don't feel, don't feel guilty about it. Reward yourself. And then, you know, like Julian was saying, break it up. Sometimes I can help some people. If you find that you're not able to focus for six hours straight and by like the third hour, the next three hours are just kind of spent fighting your own focus. Maybe take a break at three hours and then come back and you'll be more productive. Yeah. Over if productivity is your real goal, then don't worry about exactly how many blocks or hours you actually do that in. Um then me, I think the one I fall in back the most in is like physical like exercise because I've never been somebody I like to just do circuit training or like anything like that. I don't even I don't go to gym like many times a week. I don't like that. I like playing sports and like being active like that way. That's how I keep active. So to do a set of like 50 push-ups, that doesn't really appeal to me. Um, so I don't know. I find that I'm missing that. That's, that's what I'm missing the most. I, have you been, have you managed to stay active yourself or like how maybe you could give us a little one, two tips on that too? Because I, I see looking at it, I don't cost all them days, but. Uh, that is, that is his setting. Yes, you're at the beach. <laughs> <laughs> That, no, that, that's a good point, you know. I, I know. So I, I kind of, again, like my entire professional career, I've had to be flexible. Like I don't, I, I, I don't, it's hard for me. I can't have a gym membership because I, I'm never somewhere for long enough to you know, be able to do that. Or I, I can't even for a week straight say I wake up at the same time. Sometimes I wake up four o'clock for a, fight, a flight or sometimes I have to wake up, you know, you know all different hours. So if I say I'm to work in the mornings, that might not work out. I have to maybe in the afternoon, after the between weekends. You know, I have to be real flexible about it. So this sort of wasn't a big transition for me. It was just sort of, you know, I, in fact, it was better for me because I like I'm able to keep a more consistent routine now. Um, if it's hard for you, um, try try different try different workouts. Um, I know, um, you know, you say you like circuit training and body weights and stuff like that. I mean, like try like try yoga, try. Um, you know, an instruction like there's instructional videos on how to, you know, build up to get a handstand, you know, little things like that. You know, try try something different that maybe can, you know, interest you. Um, then you can also what's also helpful is doing it with a group, right? Not necessarily physically with a group, but um like find a workout partner who may have Zoom a, Yeah, like yeah, on a Zoom call, yeah. But also like if you just have a a, a, a similar goal to the person. Not sponsored by Zoom. We're not sponsored. We're not sponsored. On Slide. We're using Slide. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, just just someone with like a similar goal as you, so that like, you can like message a person and be like, yo, how did you find your workout today? You know, you can get feedback. And you can also post scores. Um, so if you if you're a competitive person and you know you just want to feel like, yeah, boy, you know, I'm gonna do 50, I'm doing 52. <laughs> So, you know, that, that helps too. Um, and then like, just do some research on other, like other, you know, creative workouts because there's, there's, there's so many different things. There's so many different things. And don't, don't mind anybody. They're not, one not better than the other. They're just different ways to suit different people. Like, don't, 
oh like oh my work out better like nah, nah, just <laughs> be again like the key is just being flexible in these times because i think what what covid if anything has taught us is we have to be flexible like there's no covid is like oh yeah you used to do that you need that uh-huh that's <laughs> nice <laughs> <laughs> that don't exist anymore for you so yeah. um i think it's, it's it's a good time to kind of like explore new things and be flexible but um for me uh, again same similar thing is um i set like a, a goal for the week and what i want to get done um like even if it's just like i want to get five hours of exercise done for the week and whether i do two in one day and i skip two days and then i do two one and one or i do one 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 that you know just keep it flexible but always have like a realistic all right i can realistically do five hours of exercise for the week even if it's just a walk or don't don't feel guilty if you just have to do a walk or just like squats like by sitting up and standing up on the couch like whatever just just focus on like trying and be active for people and um, i think you that should help you all right all right all right I think I think it's time for us to um, put Julian on his toes a little bit here. We have a segment. <laughs> we have a segment for you. Um, run it, run it. So this segment um, is inspired by you know it's called pick your poison. It is. Yes. <laughs> so uh, have the have the question there for you. Um, so the first one, pick your poison. Eh? Would you prefer to have an easy job, right? But you're working for someone else that you don't necessarily like, or have an incredibly difficult job, but you work for yourself. Hey, um, me personally, I would say. <laughs> don't lie, them way. <laughs> Tell us the truth. We want the truth. <laughs> I think. I think. I think a hard job and work for myself because at the end of the day, like all the expectations on you um you can there's no limit to like your performance like it's like if i want to excel i can excel the work the i, I know i work hard either way so <laughs> i rather i rather like be able to say all right my my achievements are measured by me and not necessarily by the growth of like some external you know entity okay okay so you're going to be leaving your job soon i'm here <laughs> 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 yeah, <the man's> <laughs> I'm not trying to get you in any hot water here. I'm not trying to get you. But well, I feel you explain the pick your poison. I, you know, to me that is that like a Caribbean saying or no pick your poison. I don't think that's a Caribbean saying. Huh? It's just like no, um, anybody else say that. Huh? Between a rock and a hard place, like um, maybe neither one seems ideal. But which one? Which one? If you if you were in a bind, if you were forced to choose, gun to your head. But, you know, we don't. Say that. <laughs> I, I, I understand. Everybody else understands. Is it what poison thing that I'm talking about there, guys? Uh, okay, the next one. Right. Would you prefer to be forced to move to a new city every week, or never be able to leave the city that you grew up? Uh, movie. It's <laughs> <laughs> this Alicia that bad? How are guys? You put no place on that guys. How are? If you're saying Alicia, yeah, it's there, but I think. Do I say the city you were born? No, the city you were born. Never leave the city you were born. You we're not born, but grew up. Nah, it's, that I'm not saying Alicia. Like saying Alicia, nice, but like to me, a lot of my like personal growth has been from like meeting new people like understanding new cultures and like being in different mm. environments and forcing to adapt to them so that is mainly why that not the same sure uh, if i could guess on saying sure nice but to me i feel like i can appreciate saying sure more by traveling to other cities you check if you just if that is the only place you know guys uh, and you just stay there the whole time you don't know what if other place is good or bad all you have is like media and stuff to just tell you yeah boy <laughs> what that place over there how People there are nice, and you're just taking people with for it. So, I think it gives you a chance to appreciate more, like of where you're from, even though you're moving like twenty times a year, fifty. Yeah. 
our engineer on deck with the <laughs> <laughs> quick bath, guys. Move once a week. I eat 20 times a year. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey, boss. Hey, boss. Love, good on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now you go travel along, travel along. <laughs> right, next one we have. We have one. We have a couple more. So do you think if you could pick, would you rather be the average person who lives today <laughs> or an aristocrat or king from about 3,000 years ago? Who do you think lives better? Who would you prefer to be? Um, I, well, that's the thing I like. From whose perception? Because from I, yours, you would you prefer to be? I, I you prefer to be an long, average person today? A or a long ago, long ago, long, long, long. Ago. <laughs> you prefer to be a king in those days? Yeah, man. God, there are no rules, uh, that's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> There are no rules, uh. so You do whatever you want. They didn't have like a lot of complexities of you know. I mean, yes, they slightly complexities, but to me, it just seemed like a simpler time, man. You know, like to me now, like yeah, like the technological advancements and stuff and everything and new remedies and stuff <laughs> like yeah great but i mean it comes with complications. <laughs> so <laughs> i i think i would enjoy the simpler times guys where you know some like just stuff happening you can't explain it and it's just like well it's just wait till tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> uh, could you imagine not being able to understand so many simple things like i like imagine if Corona was happening back then, and people were just dying. They would, they would be like, uh, they wouldn't know why exactly. They wouldn't really understand. They're not gonna understand. just be like some mysterious force, a plague. What, what, um, do you think they wouldn't understand? They probably understand, but they don't. They wouldn't be able to name it and oh. be able to, um, like develop plans to save people as quickly and stuff like to like the strategy around it but i think they would say mm, something killing them people you know <laughs> <laughs> i like, cough on that man yesterday and i'm gonna die i'm a boy you know? <laughs> wrong, yeah. it's true all right last one covid related would you rather open the start opening the country and save people through the economy like people are suffering that way or keep the keep the economy and everything closed until this is completely out of the blue i mean out of, until we completely out of the woods and sacrifice some um, people's like suffering economically um well that's a tough one you know and i mean i I know that is a decision like all governments and stuff have to make. Um, but at the end of the day, I think based on the nature of the virus, I think it's better to. You, who are you going to? Huh? Well, I, was just, I was just kidding. I said, yes, Senator Bryce, tell us who you're going to sacrifice. Who are you willing to? <laughs> I, I mean, I think the people like the people, the sacrifice, like them people have already gone and like their sacrifice was for us to understand like how stuff spreads like they sacrifice like they sacrifice themselves for us to make the moves to close the countries right like so like for us to say well you know what we still don't really understand this thing yet we don't really know what will happen or well, we know what will happen we know it, people just get con like it'll just keep spreading again so i think i think it's to close it keep close until I, the thing is like the government saying like they don't have like I say the government, but like in general, like they they're saying like the economy needs to reopen and stuff like that. But I think the government has the power to put stuff in place, um, at least temporarily to you know like help save people. Um, but the problem is like the people, it's it's tough with Corona because you can't see it. Like it's not like it's outside like you can see it. So like people sitting at home and they're like, wait, why are we sitting at home? You know, like I'm not getting sick. I'm fine. Like I walked outside yesterday. Like nothing happened. So I don't know. I long story short, I think I think stay stay close until they at least understand it better and like have some sort of a strategy for for containment. Not just hey, come outside, come outside, test the waters. Uh, nah, go back inside. Yeah. Go back inside. Cause like that was that was you. That was like you remember you saying like your week of work. It was just like 
one day they'll go in the office, next day go in the office, but they'll do that. Third day like that. It'll just continue to be like that until something actually happens. So I think I as hard as, as hard as it is, and like I know like some people, I know it's like maybe I don't understand the position of all people, but um like I I personally would rather like be alive than um anything else. So and, and like people I care about. Mm. That's true. Well, a little tough one. I think. Yeah, <laughs> tough one. I think I think I think you're a little tough one. I don't. I've given you too many soft balls there, guys. Oh, all the things are hard. To show your stripes. Yeah. Well, I think. I think yeah, just doing like having stuff like this, little outlets, to just like talk about. Don't be like. Just talk to somebody, talk to somebody about like what you really feel it, you know, because everybody like might want to act like they say it or like just make like it's all the jokes on all the memes on Instagram. We all lose our minds. So we just haha laughing it off. But just talk to somebody, just be like, call your friends, have a good time. Corona, I don't know. I don't know. I, I personally don't see it ending soon, but I, I always wonder like what is, like you said, like, am I going to be, I'm not going to be one of the first people outside. Y'all go first and see. It's actually safe before we go, that kind of like idea. But at the end of the day, it's like we eventually have to go back to our lives. And I'm curious, like one of the things I'm most curious about actually is like how to see how many of these things, how many of these habits like we retain, like how many of these like structural changes are like permanent. Like we're thinking about like, okay. We wait a year and then things go back to normal because there's no more coronavirus cases. But I'm sure that there's going to be certain things that are going to stay. It's like there are going to be some things that are going to be changed for good. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, I, I think so. I think I think people are not admitting it, but I think once they start because of the habits that they've been forming, I think because they say it's thirty days, thirty days of doing something is a habit, eh? So. Right. Um, I think they won't realize it yet, but I think they'll, I think for, for example, like you walk up to shake someone's hand and you, you think about it. So, mm -hmm. and it's, so I think it's little, little things like that. You may not stop completely, but I think like there are a lot of things that will be more, you know, conscious about um, afterwards. But I think, I think it's, it's tricky to her. Cause I know you said like you, I totally agree. Like we can't just stay close forever, like just in limbo forever. Uh, I think, it's the people, I think maybe they need to like find ways to get the people more involved in feeling like they're part of the solution, right? Because like, if you're just saying, stay home, stay home, stay home, and they're like, I stay in home, like how I know you're even working on something, right? Like, I, I don't know, it has to be some kind of like, you know, group, group effort to, to um, which it is, like stay at home, like that's doing your part, but I mean, you don't feel like you're doing anything. You're just like, I'm sitting at home. Like, how is this curing the virus? Like, people are not getting better. Like, what's going on? What kind of things? I am. We'll see. Yeah. Anyway, we hope that this conversation has been, at least, if not helpful, entertaining. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, <laughs> so yeah, Brian, as you was saying, you know, just keep organized but don't don't be a, ty a tyrant to yourself you know give yourself breaks um so yeah try to find that balance um see what works for you and yeah and, and i mean your your happiness and, and and you know happiness of everyone around is important too so stay stay positive and you know continue to continue to fantasize about you know what it, <laughs> what it'll be Come like when stuff open yeah. back up you're on a beach somewhere <laughs> with the waves behind you, you know, uh, relaxing. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. Boy, it's going to be such, oh my goodness, when they open, oh my goodness. <laughs> That's the thing. All right. So that, with that, all right. Appreciating stuff more, I think. Yeah, we'll appreciate a lot of things a lot more. <laughs> all right. Anyway, for joining us, um, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, we should say in the beginning. Anyway, I'll go back to the beginning. <laughs> yeah. Did it like did it right now? Just because, especially if you reach this far, if you still listen to us talk at this point, you like the video. You like the yeah, video. yeah, yeah. Seriously, Channel, you go. You want to hear more? Are we standing over you until you finish watching. 
yeah, yeah. <laughs> 60 feet apart. <laughs> and... right. right. Your expert opinions <laughs> um, and advice. Rising adults, signing out.